Hey, this is Peggy, and I am in Premiere Plus uh, Ultra, and I am using the Create module, which you're going to find down here with the tulip. Um, and I'm not going to actually digitize anything today other than a shape, so I'm going to hit the Cancel here. And the shape that I am going to be working with is in the Quick Create very quickly going to make a shape and I'm going to decide what pattern I want if any for my shape and I'm going to say no fill for now I could have also just clicked on the the upper part of that toggle button and I'm going to say I would like a satin stitch and here's something I like to play with a lot um, I kind of had an epiphany when I was digitizing a logo and I had to uh, digitize some stars that were in the logo and I'm like hey there's got to be an easier way to do this so I went into that shape maker and there are all kinds of shapes that you can use shapes and badges and outlines and uh, for badges things like that so I used the star and I made some stars up in different sizes and just applied them to the design. Um, but what I'm going to work with today is the, the scallop. And you can use either one of those. And once you have picked out how you want your scallop to look, you can just hit the shape. If you hold down the shift key, it will enlarge it proportionally and I'm gonna take this just a little bit out of the frame just to show you something so there's my outer shape and then I'm going to apply it one more time And let's see, I can adjust it as needed. And I can still do a, a right click on the mouse and then another right click. And I can choose a fill if I need it, or I can change it from a satin line if I need it to another type of line. I can change the densities and the widths and all that kind of happy stuff. Okay. And I do this quite often when I'm making candle mats or um, things to put on the table. Once I have this design, I can then go into uh, the home menu, uh, ex whoops, export, and save it. And that's what I was hoping would happen. Um, when I went to export it, it says the embroidery is too large or will not fit in the hoop. Oh dear, what do I do now? Okay, so if I go to home and I say go to the modify block, I can say scale to fit the hoop. And voila, it changed it to fit the hoop. Now I can export it. Um, I'll put it in this folder, say sample, actually I'll put it in my Sonet cloud. The other thing I'd like to mention here is if you want to keep working on it and changing it and whatnot, you need to do a save as and save it as what's known as an EDO file. An EDO file means it's still editable. You can still go in and make a lot of changes and and different options. So then I go into Premiere Plus and I change my hoop to the hoop size I was using. And I can never find this hoop. Say OK. Now I'm going to insert 
and go down to samples. And now I can add things to it. So I can take and add a heart to the center. I can, let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's go down to say a size 20. Left click and drag it up and then just copy and I'm doing a control C for copy on the keyboard. And then I do a control V as in Victor on the keyboard. And I can take this little round circle and I can change the angle of it and place it where I want. And I just keep going right around. And that's how I build my candle mats. Um, Lately, I've been working with the big 260 by 260 hoop, which makes a much bigger candle mat, which is a lot better. Um, so I just wanted to show you how I how I do that with the shape maker. Um, I'm betting that some of you probably use shapes quite frequently to add to your designs. So remember, they're there. I think this morning I just used this shape and created um, uh, a logo with uh, some uh, tree, uh, basically just a straight line that, that I made in Precise Create, and then I attached these leaves to it. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, that's how that's done. Thanks for listening. Bye.